Hey guys, hope you had a good Christmas. Hope you got to spend time with the people you loved. Uh, we had a great, uh, great time. We had like 20 people over. We had a big Italian spread. It was amazing. So you guys ready for the Food Jacks Awards? If you don't know what Food Jacks are, Food Jacks are you guys. People who like food, like Jack. You're Food Jacks. That's why we started this award show. Like at the end of the year, we started it back in 2014. So we're on our fourth year now. I can't wait. We're going to show you a few clips. We're going to talk about a few episodes. We're going to review the Rachel Ray stuff. We're going to talk about her utensils. We're going to talk about the knives. We're going to wrap up the entire year. 2017. See ya. Hello, 2018. Let's get the awards started. Okay, so over the year, I've used everything here except one thing. I never used the steamer basket. This is a great looking steamer basket. Even comes with the pot lid that goes on the saucepan, also goes on the, on the steamer basket. I never used it, so I can't lay any claim to that. Uh, but everything else worked great. Everything cleaned up well. I'm gonna show you uh, the bottoms so you can see the bottom of these pans on how they did. I used all of her utensils, uh, which are also silicone. The handles are good. They held up great. Everything looks good. Um, the oval, the one thing I don't like about this set, I love the whole concept. I thought it was cool looking, but you know what? I want a round pot. I want a round skillet because when you have a round flame and only the center of an oval and you have your pot hanging over the flame, ugh, it just doesn't work right. I mean, you got to keep moving the meat and whatever you're cooking in the pan around. So one of the things, I don't know if you can see it. I can't. I can't tell how much shows up on camera, but if you look carefully, you'll see there are some markings. There's like a little scratch there. There's some scratch there in the nonstick and there's markings all over it. It's like it didn't go through the nonstick, but it dug into the nonstick. And this is all silicone utensils were used on this. No metal ever touched this set of pans. This pan has a lot of... Uh, you can see a lot of markings. Can you see a lot of markings on there? Let me see if I can get the right angle. This pan also has markings. I don't see any cut throughs, but I see a lot of, from the spatula, did a lot of eggs in this pan. But the bottoms, bottoms didn't do too bad. Scraping and moving and banging on my cast iron grill top on the uh, Samsung stove I have, they held up pretty good still. This little guy looks exactly like the big guy. There are marks on it from the utensils, but nothing ever penetrated the, the coating, the nonstick coating, and it never stopped working properly. It works great. All this stuff works great. Everything's completely nonstick, easy to clean. Also, same thing here, just like the other one. This is the skillet version of the sauce pot. Same thing, marking, scratches. Do I see any cut throughs? I see one big line right here. I don't see anything to cut through on this one. Now for the bad news. I do not like the Rachel Ray utensil set that I have in front of me right now that I bought. Uh, did not hold up. So let's go down. The spoon, the spoon I barely used, uh, but it worked. Worked great, held up. Nothing wrong with the spoon. This one was great, pulling hard boiled eggs out of the water. This worked great to get the meatballs out of the sauce for Christmas dinner. Held up great. Uh, unfortunately, these discolor. And you can't, and I've scrubbed them. I've, I've done everything I can to get the, the markings, but like you have these dark spots on the spoon. And when you have a yellow spoon, it doesn't look right. The ladle, it held up great. This was probably my favorite part of the whole, this one and this one right here. This kind of, I call it a spoon spatula. It's soft at the ends, but firm in the body. And it's great for just moving things around. Uh, folding in. It's a great tool for folding in when you're baking. Look at this. This is the nightmare. Look at this. These warped. They burnt. They got stained. I couldn't keep them clean for the life of me. They just look nasty. Same for this one. This is more of a fish spatula, but I used it as a spatula when I didn't want to use the embarrassing, uh, embarrassingly warped other spatula. This one stayed pretty straight. But all discolored, blackening on here, burnt, both sides. You couldn't, you just couldn't keep it clean. So to cover the Rachel Ray cookware stuff, the pots and pans, a definite buy. 
at a great price. You get the whole set for a little over a hundred bucks. Uh, I totally recommend it. The utensils, garbage. If you're gonna just get your first set of utensils, sure. If you're just moving out and just got married or something, sure, use that. But if you really want some good quality stuff, don't buy Rachel Ray's utensils. On to knives. We did tons of knives. Usually I'll do knives the whole year, but I think I did like three sets of knives uh, this year. Right now I'm doing the Miracle Blades uh, World Series. That is what I've been using for the past two months all through the holidays. They held up great. They have not let me down. Uh, I don't know even if you can sharpen Miracle Blades. They're supposed to stay sharp their whole life. Uh, they've been working great, so uh, really impressed. $35 for the whole set? Really? That's a great starter knife set. Um, uh, unbelievable. You saw what it did, and if you haven't seen it, I'll put the link down below uh, on to watch my Miracle Blades video to cover that, show you how powerful they are. But yes, Miracle Blades, a definite on my list that I recommend to you guys. The Edge of Belgravia set. Remember that? It was a stainless steel set. It looked totally cool. Came with a really cool knife block to put your knives in, and yet they were garbage. They weren't even sharp out of the box. Now, some people are like, well, you know, factory knives don't need to be sharpened. Never on the history of this show in 10 years has a knife not came razor sword sharp on the show. Never until that, that set. Idea Land, I think it's Idea Land knife. Wasn't a big fan of that one. It didn't hold up well sharpness wise. You had to sharpen a lot. So I really don't recommend that. It's not a bad product. Once again, it's a, I call them starter knives. If you know, if you're on a low budget, yeah, you're just gonna have to sharpen a lot more and take care of your knives. You can do it or get the Miracle Blades. So the Idea Land knife I didn't care for. You guys remember um, Z Elite knives? It was, uh, it was German, was it German? I think it was German steel. It was one of my favorite sets. I might go back to that because I don't have really another knife set to, to go to just yet. But this set was one of my favorites. It held up great. The blades were great. Uh, it was good stuff. And it was called Z Elite. You remember that? The people who make this knife here I'm going to show you in a minute are, is the factory that makes the Z Elites, which I'm just crazy about. This is called the this is called the Katori Warrior Series Chef Knife. Premium high carbon German steel. Love my German steel. Dig on it. Why do I like German steel over Japanese steel? Japanese steel is too flimsy for me. I like the weight behind a German steel when I'm cutting through, uh, even when I'm cutting through uh, small bones and stuff, it penetrates well. So this is the packaging that we saw on the Z Elite brands. I love this. It just, it looks nice, it feels nice. Looks like you're getting good quality. Oh wow, that's so light. So here it is, it says, eight inch precision forged blade with an ultra premium German steel, cutting core for unrivaled performance and incredible edge retention. Wow, that was a lot. And for those of you who like a full tang, it's got a full tang all the way down the spine, all the way through the handle. Wow, it feels good, very light. Look, it's got plenty of room to get your fingers in here because I was taught this is how you hold it. Three fingers around and then you pinch and this is the best way to control. Hopefully I won't cut myself with this one. Let's get on to the awards. I got a whole list of awards here to give out. So the first award is the best product review and the best product review just came two weeks ago. It has the most views of all my product reviews for 2017 it's the red copper five minute chef that exploded on me and it has over 53,000 views and that is a crazy device that I'll never use again. But if you haven't seen it, we'll have all your links down below uh, for all the awards. But that has been my best product review of the year. So red copper, congratulations on having the most views, but sorry, your device is kind of junky. As you know, I fail at this show all the time, if you've seen the show before. Uh, I make mistakes, I say wrong things, I retract them in the next video because I learned something that I did was not right. Well, one of the biggest failure videos, you ready for this, is how to can tomatoes. Um, I showed the process, but there were two things. Number one, uh, my pressure cooker, the Power Pressure Cooker XL, has a canning button on it. 
and we've come to find out that they're not approved. You can do not use a canning button on your pressure cooker. And also I didn't, the one thing I forgot to do was wipe the rim of my jars. So you saw in the video that one of the jars didn't seal. So the whole thing's kind of a disaster. Uh, I consider that my biggest failure of the year. Best food review. So sometimes we do product reviews. Sometimes we review food. Sometimes Jack Jr. and his girlfriend will come on and do some of the desserts because I really don't need to be trying desserts. So I let them eat that kind of stuff and tell you what it's like or chips or whatever. Um, so the best food review is, what is it? It's over 63,000 views. It's, you guys know what it is? The dollar ribeye steak from the Dollar Tree. When I bought that, I thought it was gonna be horrible. I hit it hard in the pan with some garlic, with some butter, and it was fine. Some people have reviewed it on YouTube and it's been nasty as ever. I'm not saying they didn't get a bad piece of meat, but mine was fine. I bought like 15 of them, cooked them up. They're almost like a ribeye steak -um. They're really thin. Uh, it was $1 for a piece of ribeye steak. You slap that on a sandwich, you're good to go. So congratulations for the best food review goes to the Dollar Tree's dollar ribeye steak. Coming in this year at over 53,000 views on this video, uh, it's uh, my funniest moment on camera and not so much a blooper, but it was just funny, uh, was the Copper Chef grilling mats. You guys remember what happened? Yep, here it is. I'm really curious about the eggs more than anything. Oh no, 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 oh come on. That was not good. Wow, was I embarrassed over that. It just started to go and there was nothing I could do. I just sat there and watched it. All right, it's time for the most difficult recipe on the show. The one I've done over all the years, the hardest recipe I've ever done was Julia Child's beef bourguignon. Julia Child is insane. I love her to death, but she does things every step at a time. She, she treats, and it's brilliant. It's brilliant, but it's too time consuming and I'm too lazy. She treats every single ingredient first and takes care of it. And then she brings it all together for the final dish and, and it blends it all together, however it's supposed to go. That's how she cooks. Where me, I'll just throw it in one pot and let it all cook. But uh, it was beef bourguignon was the all time hardest over all the years, uh, but it was amazing. The hardest this year was the Yule log. I wanted to throw it across the kitchen. I wanted to step on it. I was so angry, I didn't even want to finish the video. I almost trashed the video. And my loving wife comes in and says, let me help. And she always comes in when I'm just about ready to just lose it all. So thank you to Tammy, my lovely wife, for saving that video. And remember, frosting covers everything. So there it is. That was the Yule log video. It was painful. It was hard to do, but it was amazing. It was very similar. It has a lot of coffee flavor in it. It reminded me of tiramisu and I love tiramisu. What is the best video of the year? <laughs> You're not gonna believe this. Ready? Best video for 2017. Coming in at 71,431 views. How to fry the perfect egg. Are you kidding? That's one step away from how to pour a glass of milk. But I did it because there are honestly are people who can't fry an egg. And that was one of the things I learned first as a kid. My mom taught me, tip the pan, get under it, make sure you, you know, butter it or get some butter in a pan or whatever. It, honestly, everybody watched that video. So that was the biggest video of the year. Congratulations, how to fry the perfect egg. Link down below if you wanna check that out. Now let's talk about what's coming in 2018. I got a bunch of stuff. First of all, you guys heard the announcement. If you didn't hear the announcement, the announcement video is down below, uh, the link, all right? The announcement is I'm going on tour, Barbecue Wars Tour, Texas edition. I'm gonna to be touring Dallas, Austin, San Antonio, and Houston. It's, you guys remember I did one in the South? Well, Char Grillers is sponsoring my Texas tour. It's gonna to be fun. And we're gonna be hitting a whole bunch of restaurants. We're doing more than we did last year. So be ready, look for me in Texas. That starts January 9th all the way through January 12th. I'll be traveling through Texas. 
Another thing I've been trying to do is I've been battling with shipping costs on my sauces and my aprons and my shirts and my beef jerky, international people wanting my products and they can't get it. Uh, it's so I'm working on right now. I'm almost there. Keep me in your prayers. Amazon prime and where it will be delivered and we'll start with Canada and Mexico and obviously United States and see how that goes. And then we'll go hopefully international with Amazon uh, in Australia and that kind of stuff. But I'm trying to get onto Amazon Prime with all of my products. It's gonna be a slow process. First one we're gonna do is our barbecue sauce. I'll let you know when that's available on Amazon Prime and then you guys can order it and I'll be free shipping through Amazon Prime. Another goal in 2018 is to come out with some uh, kitchen products and utensils from the Cooking with Jack show. I wanna start doing some of my own things. Things that I think are really hot that I use on the show all the time. I uh, want to come out with my own, my own version of it uh, in my own colors and that kind of stuff. That's something I want to do. As you guys may know, I have a third channel that's also in YouTube partnership. It's Tech Time with Jack, and that channel link is down below. Subscribe if you haven't seen it. It's kind of like the format of the cooking show. It's a regular guy talking about technology and toys and electronics and movies and video games and all that stuff. All the things I love outside of food, uh, and it's kind of technology wise gets talked about on that show. So subscribe to that link down below. That's awesome. And what was the other thing I'm working on? Oh yeah, I forgot in 2018. I want to do more prayer for you guys. I got tons of prayer requests from you over the holidays. A lot of you went through some rough times and I was glad you reached out to me. I just wanted you to know I was thinking about you and I was there for you. And that's important. You guys are the reason I'm here. So I like to give back a little bit. I wish more YouTubers would realize that it's because of the audience that a show exists. So I love you guys. Be safe. Have a happy, happy new year. And don't drink and drive if you drink, please. And I will see you next year with tons more videos, more mistakes, more product reviews, more amazing recipes, more fun. Thanks for watching The Cooking with Jack Show. Take care.